Right. Good morning, everybody. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Let's all stand as we begin the worship service with a word of prayer. As we prepare our heart to sing praises to God and to hear the word of God and let God do incredible things. Thanks for His glory. And may God use us today. And may God be glorified in and through our worship, our praises, our thanksgiving, our offering, our time, talent, testimony. And may the Lord just touch us today as we spend our time in His presence. May I request Brother Tony if you would please come and open in word of prayer. Praise the Lord Church. Oh Heavenly Father, most loving Father, God of this universe, we give you glory at this time, Father Lord. We are here to worship you as you are the true living God, one God, the God who can see us now. Heavenly Father, we exalt you at this time. We give you glory at this time, Father Lord. Thank you for your blessings for today. Thank you for protecting us, Father Lord. Thank you for your mercy. As you know, Father Lord, there are thousands who have not seen this morning, but we are so blessed that we are here to your word, your word, Father Lord. Thank you for that love. Heavenly Father, we pray that you may bless us here. We pray all for all the saints who are present here and all the saints who are on the way to come, bring back them safe. Bless Pastor Lawson. Through him, we're going to hear your word, Father Lord. Give us your message, Father Lord. And give us your understanding and your wisdom to understand that message, Father Lord. Search our iniquities, search our hearts at this time, Father Lord. Cleanse our hearts from the things which are unworthy for you to receive, Father Lord. Make us clean, Father Lord. Thank you for everything. Thank you for your love. Thank you for today's blessings. Thank you for today's mercy you have shown, Father Lord. And thank you for what you have been and what you will, Father Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father God. We pray this pray in mighty Lord Jesus' name. Amen. 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 standing turn your hymn book to hymn number 370 hymn number 370 it's time to count our blessings it's time to say Lord we Thank you for all that you've been doing in our life. We are thankful and we are grateful. Even when it feels like nothing has happened, we look back and we know the mighty hand of God that led us through ups and downs and through every blessings. When upon life's billows, you are tempest-tossed. When you are discouraged, thinking all is lost. Count your many blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Let's all sing together. It's a very familiar song, and let us sing this song joyfully for the glory of God.
song that we are going to sing next was basically born in the midst of a great storm. The writer of the song was caught in the middle of a great storm where he didn't know what's going to happen. His life seemed to be uncertain. He was about to die. He thought he would die. His boat was going to be drowned. When everything seems to be dark and drowning, one thing that kept him peaceful was that he knew who Jesus Christ was. He knew that he was saved. He knew that his soul is saved and was safe in the hands of God. And this song was born in the midst of a great storm. And we can take great comfort and courage as we sing this song. For the glory of God, it is well with my soul.
I'm going to read this in regard to the next song that we are going to sing from Bay, uh, song number 377, Stand Up, Stand Up for Jesus. And this letter was sent by Rashtriya Samad Sevaksam, RSS. Here it is. And it says, your Christianity is a samasya, so our mission is garvapsi. Now onwards, no Christianity, only Hindutva. No Bible, only Bhagavad Gita. Either convert or else leave our Hindu Rashtra soon. We'll erase Christianity by 2021. It was sent by Hindu Rashtra. Banaka, he said, Hindu Rashtra Banake Rahinge, dedicated to our Sarasana Chalak and Pracharaks. So this is, I do not know how many more pastors in Goa received it, I didn't know. Looks like I'm the only one who received it, because we are getting the gospel out all over Goa. It's a blessing. Uh, basically, our Hindu friends are very wonderful people. My neighbors are Hindus. They are some of the most wonderful people. This is just a few groups of people who don't have life to live and uh, they just want to uh, terrorize the country. And uh, when we go out street preaching, we get to see a lot of things like these. Uh, this week, uh, this Sunday, we just last month, when we were preaching in Mopsa, we had some oppositions. But in the midst of that, we had one family who took the gospel tracks while we were in Mopsa preaching. And they came to church last Sunday. And they came to church again this Sunday. The whole family, husband, wife, and two children. Amen? Amen. And opposition is good. When opposition is coming, that means you are doing something right. Amen. If there is no opposition, it means you are really not doing something right. The, you know, the dead dogs don't bark. <laughs> or the dead dogs don't bite. Right? And so when you're doing something right, you will feel, you will experience opposition and opposition is good. Opposition brings growth. Amen? And uh, so we need to stand up, stand up for Jesus. It's 2021 and we are still here alive and we'll be here for another hundred years. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's sing this song, Stand Up, Stand Up for Jesus. From your page 377, as we sing this song, Stand Up, Stand Up for Jesus. Preach! 
preaching like soldiers and we should live as a soldier of Christ. Amen? Stand up, stand up for oh
morning, let's turn our Bibles to Psalm 146. Psalm 146. Psalm number 146. And we'll be reading it responsibly. And I will request Brother Vicky if you would come and read it responsibly. Psalm 146. Let us read responsibly. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. Why I live be like the praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any need. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. His great help goes forth, he returned unto his earth, in that very day his heart perish. Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord. His God. Which made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that there is, which give the truth forever. Which executeth judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry, the Lord loseth the prisoners. The Lord openeth the eyes of the blind, the Lord raiseth the hand that are bowed down, the Lord loveth the righteous. The Lord preserveth the strangers. He relieveth the fatherless and widow. But the way of the wicked he turneth upside down. All together. The Lord shall reign forever, even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations. Praise thee, the Lord. You may be seated. Father, we thank you, God, that you are our God, we are your children. We thank you for your promises. We thank you for your assurance. We thank you for your manifold blessings, O oh God, that we get to enjoy every day. We are incredibly thankful, deeply touched by your goodness upon our lives. You are an amazing God, all-powerful God, all-knowing God. Lord, this morning, O oh God, we bow before you. We bow before you because we recognize you as holy. So we bow in adoration. We recognize you as almighty. So we bow in worship. We recognize you as all perfect. And so we bow in submission. Lord, be Lord, we are thankful and we are grateful. We thank you for healing, O oh God. We thank you for peace. We thank you for your miracles upon our lives. We believe that you are a healing God, miracle-working God. 
You are all perfect and in absolute perfection. You hear everything that we say in our hearts and mind. O oh God of heaven, how wonderful are you, O oh God. How beautiful and how loving and how generous and how tender you are, O oh God. For in thee we find peace. For in thee we find absolute calmness. And this morning, O oh God, we are so thankful because you saved us. And you made us your children. We are so thankful that we can call you Abba Father. And that you are our Father and we are your children. You are our Lord and you are our Savior. You are our Master. We surrender ourselves to thee, O God. We throw ourselves into thine hand. For we trust in thee and thee alone. Thank you for each and every one gathered here, O Father, who are come from far and near with many different stories of life, with many testimonies and many pain, many joy, many sorrows, many comforts. It is well with our soul, O oh God, because you lifted us up. And our faith has found a resting place in you. For we trust in you, the ever-living one. It is enough for us that you saves us, saved us, O oh God. And so our heart is leaning on thy word, thy written word of God. For you are a great physician that heals the sick. And so we thank you for your precious blood. We have nothing to boast about ourselves and our testimonies today. We are gathered here to boast about your goodness and how great you are. And when we think about you and look you and look at you sitting at the throne as we see you in thy word, O oh God, we are so humbled with joy and praise to thee, O God. If there is anybody, O God, who needs your healing touch this morning, Lord, we are praying that thou will please touch them and heal them, O God. We pray for those who have other prayerful needs. We pray that thou will intervene and Meet their needs, O oh Father God. Bless every husband and wife. Bind them with your cord. Bless every fathers and mothers and children. Bless the family, O oh God. Those who are doing business, we pray that thou will prosper them, O oh Father. Intervene in their business and do great things upon their lives. Those who are working, O oh God, we pray that they will be a great testimony where they are. And Lord, we pray for those who are working hard at home, especially wives who take care of the home and do great things in their home, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, we pray that thou bless them. We pray for the fathers who work hard 
outside. We pray, O oh God, for every young and the old, every young and the adults, O oh God, we submit our lives into thine hand that Christ will be radiating in and through our lives. We give you all the glory and honor. We give you the praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's sing hymn number 349 before we hear the word of God. Hymn number 349. Sing, there shall be showers of blessing. And at this time, as the Lord has prospered you and blessed you, if you would like to contribute for the furtherance of the gospel, <clears throat> this is your opportunity to give. If you would like to give, please do not feel compelled to do so as the Lord has prospered you only if you feel like and want to. Hymn number 349, there shall be showers of blessing. At this time we shall collect our offering. Mary Chris Carlton to come forward and pray for the offering this time. Oh, Heavenly Father, Abba Father, Father, we give you all the praise, glory, and honor, O oh God. Father, we thank you, O oh Lord, for giving us an opportunity, O oh God, to bless thee, O oh Lord, with all thy blessings that thou hast blessed us with, O oh God. Thou hast showered us with blessings, O oh God. Even though we were not worthy, O oh God, though we didn't deserve it, O oh Lord, thou hast been merciful and gracious unto us day after day, O oh Lord. I thank you, O oh Heavenly Father, for thy grace and mercy in our lives, O oh God. I give you all the praise, glory, and honor, O God. I pray that thou may fill us with thy Holy Spirit, O Lord, and prepare us, O God, to hear thy word. And for all the hands that will contribute, O God, I pray that thou may bless them many folds, O God, that they may experience thy grace and mercy in their lives, O God. In Jesus' mighty name I pray.
Thank you. You may be seated. 